Today we're going to make chunky broccoli soup. Again, this is a nice, easy recipe that um, would taste great on a winter day. What we're going to take is first broccoli. We can use florets or chopped, frozen chopped broccoli. So we're going to do two cups of broccoli. And of course, you're always welcome to put more in if you would like to put a little bit more broccoli in there. We're going to take one can of reduced sodium chicken broth. Got that in there. And then we have half a cup of onion. The onion will give some great flavor to our soup. We're going to allow this to heat until it is to a boil. And then we're going to simmer that for 10 to 15 minutes. So that'll make the broccoli nice and tender, your onions nice and tender, um, and um, just develop the good flavor of your soup. So after 10 to 15 minutes, we're gonna be ready for the next part of our soup. Uh, at this point, we're going to mix together some cornstarch and some milk, and that will be our thickening agent for the soup. <clears throat> Let me clean off my tablespoon real quick here in my sink. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take two tablespoons of cornstarch. One, two, and to that we're going to add three tablespoons of non-fat or 1% milk. going to mix that up. So you'll find that it's a little bit chunky at first, um, but then the cornstarch really comes into solution and dissolves. Yeah, nice and dissolved. Um, we need one and a half cups of milk total. So I'm going to add the rest of the milk to my cornstarch solution. And mix that up. There, grab my spoon. And two are nice, broccoli, um, onion, broth mixture, we're going to add the milk and cornstarch. And this is gonna give us a nice creamy texture. And after it comes to a um, low boil, it will thicken your soup considerably. So we're going to once it gets to a low boil, we're going to reduce the heat for two minutes and that again will allow it to thicken um, and be a nice consistency. <clears throat> we're going to assume that we're at that point right now through the magic of video. And we're going to finish our soup by sprinkling four tablespoons of low fat cheese onto the top of our soup. Um, we could, you could do that at the table, just in your individual bowls. We're going to season with a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. And there you have a nice warm winter soup. <clears throat>